Hello, my name is Posey, and I am the mummy of Max. I belong to Indy. I'm Indy's dog, but actually I'm not a dog. I am a princess. I am Princess Posey, and I live at Nana Pats, but I belong to Indy. And I only like it when Indy takes me for walks, especially when she carries me when it gets very wet, because I do not like to get my feet at all dirty. I don't like it when people come to the door and I bark and tell them to go away and I certainly do not like dog food. I only eat chicken and I like to sleep in a warm bed or in a cushion. Hi everyone, my name's Bonnie. You all know me as Bonnie. I am very Bonnie. You all think I'm very cute, but really, I'm a little witch. I love throwing Grace off my back and I laugh so much when Liam's on the floor and that one, Sue, ooh, I'd like her to get on my back because I book and rear her right off. She's a right cow, that one. But anyone, don't, don't care because I'm Bonnie and I'm Bonnie and I'm lovely. Hello, I'm an Irish horse and my name is Iconic Figure. But they called me Scruffy when I lived in Ireland because I look like a bag of shite. I've got a shitey coat. I've got a scruffy mane. But Philip bought me, he put his faith in me, I'm going to try and repay that faith by winning him a race. And if I don't win a race, I'm absolutely shit scared that he's going to get on me and ride me up the gallop. Because if he rides me up the gallop, I think I'm going to die. Hello, my name is Mango, and my friends are Lucky and Tiny here. Tiny's the white one, Lucky's the black one. You can't say Lucky because he's a big fat wimp and he hides behind the wheel. He hardly ever comes out apart from when there's food. We love eating, we eat all day, we eat anything, we like uh, we like carrots the best, but we really love it when she brings us a big fat sweet corn. And we like our new cage, but really, we like to go upstairs, but we don't know why, but we just don't do it. Oi, you! Yes, you there, you on the phone! He's for you, boy here. Well, that's not my name, actually, I'm... Well, I'm I'm a bit embarrassed. Like my my real name is well, it's Willie. Don't laugh, it's Willie. Anyway, Sedgefield winner. <laughs> Did you see me toying with the opposition? I was. I could have taken them any time I liked. In fact, I think they should have ran me at Cheltenham. I'd have shown that Boovadere a thing or two about hurdling. <laughs> Maybe I'll take him on at entry. But but not if Newcastle's on, of course. I love Newcastle. And now, to all of you who haven't taken that quarter share in me, Phil says, Good, I've just won him some prize money. Extra carrots for me tonight. Hello, Resdiv here. Did you just see me at Southall? One for the North. I was absolutely class round there yet again. PJ sat on me like I was a Razi, cruised round till we got to about the two furlong marker, pressed the button one out. It was like I was running against a load of trees that were that slow. God, I quickened up. Next thing, they'll want me for Dubai, or maybe even Breeders' Cup. The only problem is, I best get a decent night's sleep, because that trainer of mine, he'll definitely have me out under a penalty after that performance. Oh, my God, it's Hexham. We're about to set off and I've got to go with that miserable devil at the stable next door to me, that hangard. He never talks to me. I've got to get to Hexham. I've got to run four miles with 11 stone 10 on me back. It's going to be heavy. I'm going to be knackered. I'm going to be absolutely legless by the time I finish that. But you know what? There's some pressure on me today. The boss... He's had six or seven winners in the last seven days or ten days or something like that. What am I going to do if I don't perform up to the expectations? Not only that, the lads that owe me, they're coming from all the way down south to watch instead of Cheltenham. I best get myself in gear and try and do my best this afternoon. Jesus, lads, that was a pretty hard effort that was today in that ground. I'm absolutely knackered after that run, but, you know, I did expect it. 
as I said this morning, it was four miles, the ground was heavy, and to be honest, Adam gave me a good ride, I was really happy to be up there at the front, no mud getting kicked in my face, and I jumped away, like a book, all the way around, and I had them beat from a long way out, to be honest, I felt they weren't coming at me, I had everything covered. Anyway, Phil said, have a quick few words with everybody after the race, so thanks for watching me and supporting me. I think I've done the, the team pretty good today. And uh, it wasn't Shelton, but, you know, it was a big race at Hexham, and I'm very proud that we've won. Hello, my name is Dash, and I'm a cat from next door, but they moved and they left me. They left me, but I moved to Green Oaks. And they now are my new family. They love me very much and they feed me every day. And I'm the fattest cat in the whole world now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Phil's at the sink. What is he doing? He's, he doesn't know what to do. He might, he might have a heart attack or, or anything. He might, he might have a heart attack and die if he washes those pots up. I'm lovely, Bindi. I'm so lovely. I'm the best dog in the world. Everybody loves me. I am the best, loyalest, loveliest dog, even when I get so mucky. But I do smell. I know I smell. I need a bath every day. But I don't like going in bath. I, I, it's just not me. I like being smelly. I like getting in the bed and getting under people's feet and keeping them warm. I am a hot water bottle. Hello, my name's Freddy. I'm a Welsh pony. I'm a superstar pony. Everybody thinks I'm the best pony in the world because I do everything. But secretly, I like to be a naughty boy. I like to be a really naughty boy at the shows. If I do a clear round, I save a great big buck in my show out when she asks me to gallop that easy. I like to do it just when she's not expecting it or she thinks we're going to win. And then, Indy might ride me in a first ridden, I get pulled top, I wait my moment, the first canter's gone well and the second canter, a little, little hump, and the judge can't help but see it, and then I don't get any polos, so the next time I think I won't be naughty. But then they take me in an evening performance, and I love to balk in an evening performance. It's so exciting on the way out. When everyone's clapping and cheering for me and saying I'm the best boy, it would be rude of me not to do a lovely big buck coming down the centre line and keep Izzy on her toes. It makes her a better rider. <laughs>